we're already out of time, but I think that this is important. Um, the amendments on, or the propositions on the ballot. Um, so we have a whole little fancy brochure that Acre, um, the city of Austin has created, right, looks good, on um, selling us the bonds. Well, I don't know about where everybody stands, but bonds equal debt, and I have no interest in accumulating any more debt. So I don't even know if we really need to discuss any of the bonds. Well, so no, unless somebody has yeah. something in particular that they want it. I think it's important because there's stuff in these bonds that will literally destroy the Austin we know. We're talking about Shoal Creek, Green, Greenbelt going up, Peace Park. Wait, he wants to convince us more to vote no. So you go ahead. Uh, <laughs> but we're on a time crunch, and I know there's other stuff you want to talk about you. too, so be quick. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is it. They'll take support time. you. Two letters. Start with one again. How's it going, everyone? Good to see you guys here. Uh, so, we know there's a bond election coming up here in a few weeks. Did you guys hear anything about it? Not really. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, we'll just go through it then. <laughs> okay, so basically there's uh, propositions 12 through 18 on the ballot. November 6, uh, we'll be voting on here, City of Boston. Uh, now there's six or seven propositions. They total, I think, somewhere near $348 million total. 385. Laura Presley just read, wrote a great op ed piece in the yeah. States. And I'll I'll read it. Yeah. Uh, in our perspective, so that was great. Um, sorry, this is going to be a little scattered brain, but I'll go through it quickly. Um, so, transportation. Um, they're talking about issuing $143 million in bonds um, for, as you see, major improvements to I 35, OPAC. The North Lamar and Burnett Corridor are very important, as well as Airport Boulevard. Um, they definitely. Yep. Okay. It's bad. They're trying to gentrify Austin, basically. They're adding a bunch of bike lanes, pedestrian trees, just things we don't need. And I have a, a strong inkling that this is going to be tied with the Intel Streets program as well. Let's go to the next slide. Yeah, it's very vague, as you can see. They never give specifics, although online there's some more specifics. Open space and watershed. This is something they've been doing for a long time, buying open space, buying easements. What this is is more government controlled property. And I find that very antithetical to what we believe, well, not everyone here is a libertarian, but what I believe is a libertarian, I find that very antithetical to freedom and the fact that they can spend our money on this public good that you never technically own or have your own sort of property rights over is wrong. It's going to be a nice one. Let's go to the next slide. Oh, you have a comment? I was going to say a tragedy of the commons. Tragedy of the commons, you're right. Parks and Rec. Now this is a real doozy. Um, they want to issue a seventy-seven million dollar bond here. Um, some of the bigger projects they're going to be working on. Colony District Park. What we've seen at the City Council the past year is they're targeting growth in this area through uh, housing and urban development loans, federal government subsidies to create housing. It's an artificial market. It's a bubble. It's going to burst. Um, what we see here, Shoal Creek Greenbelt. I wouldn't be surprised if that changed dramatically as long as, as well as Zilker Park, another major park. I don't know if you guys have seen the construction in uh, Waterloo Park. They're destroying that right now to create this whole um, Waller Creek Tunnel project. But Sean spoke out against a lot of his city council campaign. But basically, they're changing the face of Austin to make it gentrified so they can bring in businesses, give them subsidies to develop there, and basically have forced economic growth that really kills our small businesses here. It's just going to bring in more multinational corporations which will suck every dollar dry from our local economy. And that's not what we want. Housing, uh, $78 million. There's not a lot to talk about there. We'll go to the next one. Public safety, this is a big one. $31 million. I don't know if you've heard, but they're pushing hard for a new police headquarters for all they need. They complain our space is too small, this building's too old. It looks like a pretty large building to me. Like they can get two in there. But what we're talking about, namely here in this bond, or so they've specified, is the Northwest Police Substation. They want mounted patrol police facilities. Now, this is for their horses that they go down on 6th Street and almost run uh, young children and women over um, after 2 a.m. And Park Patrol Police Facility, uh, just another expansion of government we don't need. They're already pushing hard on this 2 to 1,000 ratio, but they're going to get more cops because they want it. They never say no to the police. They'll basically do whatever Art Acevedo says, and uh, there's no accountability at the city level, as you guys know, right? Uh, proposition 
17 deals with $11 million in bonds for some health projects that they're working on. And Proposition 18 is kind of dovetails with the new library they're going to build um, at the very base of uh, the mouth of Shoal Creek, right here in Colorado. And uh, Austin History Center, uh, this one was kind of surprising. I saw somewhere in there the Elizabeth May Museum, which thought, what the heck do you need a little bit on that? It's ready to start building. But anyways, uh, what we're doing is I felt really apathetic about city issues lately, and I got an email, thankfully, from Robert Mara, great activist here in town, if you don't know him, saying, where's the shoe here? Basically saying, we need to kill the medical school bill. And this is another uh, proposition that will be on the ballot at the county level. And this is basically, they're having a five cent property tax increase for people in the health district, five, five cent increase for a hundred dollar valuation. And they believe that this will bring in 43 million, something like 43 million, 54 million dollars each year to build this new scam hospital that uh, Kirk Watson's pushing. So what I'm doing with Robert is we're trying to get a uh, name, a list of volunteers. I've got my clipboard there. Just find me afterwards. We're gonna try phone banking, reaching out to voters as well as local news media. Try to get this the people as we can. We want to mobilize enough people, but uh, we got to get some signatures and volunteers there. Um, and should I go into the election competition? Okay. And there will also be about there will be 12 propositions on the ballot that are not bonds, but they are crucial um, aspects of change to the city charter. They're called city charter amendments. Um, as we know, one of them deals with geographic representation. Uh, the 10 one plan, I'll uh, be supporting. Um, the most scary one, I think, is uh, Prop Proposition 2, where they're trying to extend council members' terms from three years to four years. These guys are getting tyrannical. So um, if you're interested in these, these issues as well, we're trying to get a kind of amalgam mission of issues to call people on and say, vote no on this, vote no on this. Yeah. The only good ones I really see on all the propositions are three, and then number seven, which lowers the bar barrier for citizen-initiated um, ordinances to be on the ballot. So we're, it's going to grind short recall and something good. So not to take up too much of your time, but I'm um, sorry this was a little scatterbrained and not very detailed, but do you have questions or comments? So you would say vote yes on three and seven? I will, but it's always up to you. It's equally important to vote yes on yes. one and to vote no on 821. We need to drop that thing. Every vote you vote no is you can't just abstain from it. That's not the right thing. You have to vote no to drop its numbers below 50%. It's very important that you also vote no on 821. What the hospital thing? One thing I want to know is the University of Texas has a seven billion dollar endowment. Why would the taxpayers in Travis County pay for a medical school the university for the University of Texas but the University of Texas isn't even willing to pay for itself? Yeah. I look at the numbers. They are by far the, almost like the smallest minority of financial contributors to this thing. They, they want to put a oh, levy, levy on your home or put a yoke on your neck in perpetuity. Yeah. This isn't some bond that they're going to pay you know, $100 million at one time pay it off. This is like forever. It doubles, doubles, doubles the property tax. This yeah. is a huge scam, 65%. Um, yeah. And if you look at what's happened with the economy in yeah. the last 10 years or so. Yeah. 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 And they're making this all about keep Austin healthy. That is just, a that's offensive. Yeah. But like, 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 yeah. like, basically, your kid, maybe it's like, it's like, a, it's like some mobster in time. It's like, hey, you could vote no for the hospital, then maybe something you could get sick. Who knows? Well, in all. order for it to bring in $54 million, you have to have a lot of sick people go there. No. Yes. Well, and then they say they're going to give they're going to give healthcare people that can't afford it. So they won't even be paying them. So As we see our real economy shrink, local small businesses and all that, we're seeing these major corporations like huge hospitals grow. And I don't think all that money is being put into caring for sick people. A lot of it's used for advertising, big nice buildings. You saw St. David's huge parking garage they erected on the former site of Concordia University. I mean, uh, it's all about the money, folks, and this medical school has definitely a lot of questions that haven't been answered yet by our elected officials. I think okay. the real reason they want the health care tax is the economic development of Austin that we subsidize. That's the bottom line. Yeah. That's what it's going to do. The reason they want it is the economic development and these part time dollars to do it. It's not about health care. Okay? It's about buying property. It's about buying property and supporting the medical school. Where in the world is healthcare for the poor in there? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Economic development used our dollars. That's a lot of money. Something tells me Kirk Watson is doing.
you've done this past year, yeah. third watch is going to have like some sort of a CEO or, or director of this uh, medical school. Yeah. We don't know that. We don't know that. And we follow him around because uh, he, he's been well, working on this. There's, 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 there's an ethics charge on him over there. Right? His wife makes a lot of money working at the school. Um, but we do have a tag member running against him. And he's the only opponent. His name is Ryan Dixon. Yeah. Yeah.